And John Lennon quickly found out that not only was Paul McCartney a better guitar player than he was, but he was also a better singer, at least at the time. And we're talking about Paul McCartney here. Some of you might remember, let's see if you can help me out here. John was the smart one, George was the quiet one, Ringo was the lovable one, Paul was the cute one, exactly. He was better looking too. So see, you've got better guitar player, better singer, better looking, that's a triple threat. And so now John Lennon's got this decision to make and the decision is this. Should I keep the spotlight focused solely on me as the star of the Quarrymen? Or should I spread the spotlight, invite this McCartney fellow to join the group and make the band better, make the team stronger? That's a tough decision to make. You're leaders, you know this. Sometimes it's tough to have the confidence to bring in somebody who maybe has got stronger skill sets than you do. But that's what spreading the spotlight is all about. You know, John Lennon, as we know, he made the decision at age 16 to spread the spotlight. Because at age 16, he got it. And here's what John Lennon got. When you spread the spotlight, everything gets brighter. When you make the team the star, by bringing in diverse talents and then sharing the credit, you're gonna get better results. It is about bringing in diverse members of the team, people with different skill sets than you, with different backgrounds than you, with different ideas than you, because that's how you really grow a team and get those good results. I was talking earlier with um, Debbie Kozire. Some of you know her from Illinois. Debbie, I, know, I, th I think you're out there someplace, Debbie. And she told me that on her team, she is specifically engineered. She's built her team to have people of every generation from age 18 on up. I mean, she's got every generation represented on her team because Harley customers are in every generation from 18 on up, and you talk to different generations differently. So she's built a diverse team. So it's about building that team and then, and then sharing the credit. You know, some of you have probably read Jim Collins' book, uh, Good to Great. You read that, a few of you? He calls it getting the right people on the bus. So you get the people on the bus, and then you do have to share the credit because that's a lot of it. But you know, th there are some people, let's be honest, there are some people who don't like to share the credit. I'm, I'm curious, how, how many of you have ever worked with somebody like that? Yeah, yeah, a drag, isn't it? How, yeah. how many of you have ever worked for somebody like that? Yeah. How, how many of you are sitting next to somebody like that right now? I'm seeing hands, I'm seeing a lot of fingers pointing.